Despite plenty of doom and gloom, the Australian economy proved itself to be much more resilient and flexible than expected at the end of 2015. For 2016, therefore, the economy has started the year in better shape as the sources of growth continue to transition. What seems clear is that the impact of Australia's long-running rise and then correction in key commodity prices continues to wash through the economy. Capital spending on mining projects continues to fall, while investment in the non-mining sector of the economy is also soft. But Australia's export performance is now benefiting from the lower Australian dollar. This includes not only some raw commodities, but importantly, services such as tourism and education. Growth in the economy is also being supported by the construction sector, including both residential and infrastructure, and a substantial improvement in employment in areas such as the health sector. With inflation low at around 2%, the bottom end of the Reserve Bank's target range, the RBA is expected to hold the cash rate steady at 2% throughout the year. This should help the economy continue its transition, supporting growth at around 2.5% or a little higher. Although this is softer than Australia's long-term trend, it remains an impressive growth rate on a global comparison.